Hello and welcome to the Python challenge videos. Here I'm going to be modeling how to do three Python challenges and I'm going to show you how to create programs. So the first program, challenge one, I'm asked to write a program that asks the user to input their age and then outputs your ages followed by their age. So first thing I want to do is put in a comment and I want to put the name of the program, so age program. And then underneath there, I put my name in. So now I can write some code. I'm just going to put a space in there. So now I need to create a variable called age, and that's where I'm going to store that age. And what I want that variable to be is an integer. So age equals int input. Okay. And what please input your age. Put a space there. So I've prompted the user to input their age. Age equals in input. Please input your age. So now I'm going to go to a new line underneath and I'm going to look at the second bullet point. Output your ages followed by their age. So again, just go back to here. Just add the extra bracket there, that's really important because if I open two brackets, I need to close it and now I can do my print. So print, okay, your age is, now I put space there and a comma, close quotation marks there, comma, and then age like that. So now I save it age program. I'm just going to call mine age program one. And now I can run it. I'll just move this over here so you can see it. Please enter your age. 21 your age is 21 so that's the first challenge completed I've input my age and it's told me my age so in this next challenge I'm asked to write a program that asks the user to input two numbers calculates the average and outputs the result so I've started here already I've written my comments at the top average calculator program and then I'm ready to start I'm going to create a variable called num1 and that's going to store the int integer input that the user, in, user puts into the program. So please enter number 1 and put a space there, close the bracket, close the bracket again because I've opened it twice. So I've asked them to input their first number and that's going to be stored, stored in the variable called num1. num2 equals int again input please enter number 2. So we're assuming that they know this is an average calculator. We haven't put a print. This is an average. We haven't put a print there. This is an average calculator. Please in, input two numbers. We're just making that assumption, okay? Because it hasn't asked us to do that. Right. So I've got my two numbers. One is stored in num one. One is stored in num two. So now I need to work out the average. So I'm just going to call my variable average. Average equals. And I'm going to open brackets. So what I want to do is add num1 and num2 together first and then I'm going to divide it by 2 to get my average. So I've got two numbers, I need to divide that by 2. I need to add them together and divide that by 2 then I get my average. So now I've created a variable called average that is going to do the calculation. Now I want to print that calculation and I'm just going to print that average. You could put the print the averages, but I'm just going to print that off. So I need to run it. I need to save it. 
and I'm going to call mine average calculator give it a sensible file name save now I'm ready to run it I'll just move this over so I'm going to put 50 as my first number my second number is 52 so what's the average of those two it should come out as 51 I'll just test that it works and it's 51.0 that's the average so that is how to do your average calculator for the second Python challenge in this third and final challenge that I'm going to model I'm asked to write a program that asks the user to input the width and height of a rectangle calculates the area and outputs the result so to to find the area I've got to multiply the width by the height so I need to do a calculation in my program and I've already started creating my program I've already written a comment at the top to explain what that is and now I'm ready to start writing some code I'm going to create a variable called width and I'm going to make it an integer and I'm going to write input and open the bracket again so please enter the width of the rectangle now I've opened the bracket once I need to close it again like that okay height again I want it to be an integer input please enter the height of the rectangle okay so close brackets there so I've got width and height as integer inputs so I should have two numbers there stored in the variables so what I need to do is multiply those two variables together and I need somewhere to store that result and I'm going to store that in a variable called area area equals width multiplied by height so you see the multiplication symbol there you need to use and then I want to output that and I'm gonna this time write a sentence so the area is colon space comma print out the variable area now save it I'm gonna call it area calculator save run it let's see what I've got please enter the width of the rectangle it's 7 and the height it's 3 7 times 3 I should have 21 as my output let's see press enter the area is 21 it works so that is how to do the third challenge, how to write a program that asks the user to input the width, height, calculate the area and output the result. So give that a try.